Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to simulate a simple triac circuit within the Baldesim. As we know that triac is also a simple and some bit useful electronic component that can be used for both sides conveying of the signal or, or we can say that we can control the power on both sides that is if there is an ac signal with the simple scr or diac we cannot control it on both sides because they just have a single pn junction but here we have just like we can see that there are two we can say there are two SCRs in one track. So we can first we, we can take our uh, track. So so this is our track. Here you can see that it has two SCRs. One from left to right, while the other is from right to left. So what it can do is that whenever there is signal on the gate on the gate pin then it can conduct in both direction not even the transistor can conduct like this but it is going to conduct in both direction okay wait uh, and see that how we can do it first we will take ac power ac power with the yeah AC power with the track and then we need to take our ground. Now connect the ground with the AC supply. After it we need to take our resistor. So we will take uh, basic and then resistor. So we will take a 1470 ohm resistor. And this is our resistor, and we need to connect them like that. And after it, there must be one ground. So there is ground, and like this. And okay, now what about for gate signal? We need one dip switch. So go to basic and then go to switches and take the dip switch simple dip switch okay now this is okay like this and with this dip switch we just need to attach our vcc okay vcc vcc can be up to 5 volt but you you can even trigger it with 3 volt Okay, now here we need to. Okay, and there is 60 hertz, so it's okay. Okay, now we. Yeah, our circuit is completed, but we need our oscilloscope. Oscilloscope on the output. So that we can observe this signal across 470 ohm resistor, which acts as the load. Now you can see that is our is there isn't any sort of signal on the gate pin, so we cannot observe any sort of voltage on the resistor. So we can press it out. Okay, now you can see that we have the AC signal. Okay, and AC signal with just simple positive voltage, we are able to we are able to get an AC signal on the load. So hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use the track within the multisim. So thanks for visiting our channel.